Hello and welcome to another video in the series of scenario based SQL interview questions. Today we are going to discuss another very commonly asked interview question and that is how to find the employee with the highest salary or the second highest salary, third highest salary and so on. So let's get started. So we are going to take the example again of the employee table and if we take a look at the data in the employee table then we have got some columns called the employee ID, their names, phone, email and the salary column. Now this column contains the salary of the different employees and our interview question is how to find the employee with the nth highest salary. So there are a few different ways of achieving this. So let's get started and look at the first method of doing this. So for the first method, we need to understand the max function. So if you want, the, want to find out what is the maximum salary of the employees, there's a simple function that we can use and that is the max function. So how do we write the query? Select max of salary from this table, which is dbo.employee. And if we execute this query, we'll get the result wherein we can see that this is the highest salary among all the employees in our employee table. So similarly, I want to use this function and find out the nth highest salary. So let's see how we can do this. So this query is going to fetch us the maximum salary, but we need to know the other attributes of the employees as well. So we need to know what is the employee's first name and last name who's getting the salary and so on. So to do that, we can use this query as a subquery and then build a query on top of this. So select, let's select all the other attributes. So star from dbo.employee which is our table name where salary equal to select max salary from dbo.employee and now if we execute this query we'll get all the employee attributes of the employee who's getting this highest salary now we have to reframe this query to get the second highest salary, third highest salary and so on. So what we can do to get the second highest salary is we can change this equal to to less than. So now we are fetching all the employees whose salary is less than the maximum salary in this table. So we should be getting all the employees whose salary is the second highest, third highest and so on. So let's execute this query. And now we have all the employees whose salary is less than the maximum salary. So we got the list of all the employees. Now we can order them by the salary. In a descending manner. And now we can get the salaries in the descending order so we know that the second highest salary is this and so on so this is the complete list of employees and now we want to filter down on the second highest salary so we can again use the max function select max of salary from this table where salary is less than the select maximum salary so you do not need the order by in this case and if you execute this query you'll get the second highest salary so you can go on nesting the subqueries and you'll be able to find the second highest salary, third highest salary and so on. Now the second way to implement this is to use the function top. The top function basically fetches the top most records from your table. So if you specify top one, then it would fetch the top first record from the table. If you specify top two, you, it will fetch the top two records from the table. So you can specify any number of records to be fetched and it would fetch very top records from your database table. So again, we have this employee table. Let's try using the top function and see how it works. So if I say top one star to fetch all the data from the employee table, then this should fetch me the first record from the employee table. So if I execute this, it would randomly fetch me the first record from the employee table. But I can specify the order. So if I specify this order by salary in a descending order. So now I have specifically specified which record I want to be selected as the first record. Then you would get the record with the highest salary because now we are ordering by the salary. So the data in the memory is ordered by the salary column and the first record as per 
the order of salary in a descending manner would be the record with the highest salary so i have got this record so now if i want to see the employees the top two employees with the highest salary i can just put this as two so i now want to fetch the top two records from the data set of the employee table which has been ordered by the salary in a descending manner so if i execute this i would get the top two records or top two employees with the highest salary and i can keep on going and changing this i can select the top three employees and so on so easy to use function but now i'm getting a list of these top three employees i want to see only the third employee so i want to see only the record of the employee who's getting the third highest salary so how can i do that easy to do i can just put this into a sub query and build a query on top of this so let's do that so select and for now let's just keep star so let's star from and this is the sub query that we are fetching the data from and let's give this as a name some name as salary order so i'm just fetching data from this sub query let's just execute this so i get the same number of records which i have got now i want to fetch only the employee with the third highest salary so what i'm looking at is fetching this record so if i use the top function again over here top and if i just write let's see uh, let's see i want to fetch just a single record so let me put top one so i am fetching the first record so if i am saying that i want to fetch the first record from this sub query from the results of this sub query it would fetch me this record because this is the first record as you can see over here because we had ordered it by the salary now from this data set okay let's execute this first and see whether we are right okay so it has fetched me the first record as per the ordered results of the sub query now my requirement is to fetch only this record so what i need to do is order it in an ascending order so if i order this result output data set in an ascending order this is the record which is going to go at the top and then it is going to bring down the highest salary record at the very bottom so that is what i want i want to sort this data set in an ascending order now so that i can fetch the first record and that would be my record of the employee with the third highest salary so to do that and i just want to select a single record so first change to make is to select only the top one record now top one record from this data set which is again ordered by or sorted by salary in an ascending manner so if you do not specify anything over here if you do not write descending by default it is going to take ascending so now what is going to happen is this data set is going to get sorted in an ascending order which is going to bring this record the third the employee with the third highest salary at the very top and make it the first record to be fetched by this top one command so now if you execute this i'm going to get the employee record with the third highest salary and you can fetch any employee with the nth highest salary in this way so if i change it to the top five records so i want the employee with the fifth highest salary so let me just execute this sub query to show you the results this is going to be the results so now i want to be fetching this employee who has got the fifth highest salary so again if i execute this query this is going to work fine because i'm going to get that record because internally it's going to sort it again in ascending order bringing this record at the very top and making it the top first record to be fetched so if you execute this you'll get the employee with the fifth highest salary so this is a very easy way using a simple function you can fetch the employee with the nth highest salary now let's move on to the third way of doing this it's also an easy way of doing it and it is going to use an analytical function again so let's go back to doing the data for our employee table so this is the data that we have now we are going to use an analytic function which is the dense rank function so we had already used the row number and rank functions in our previous videos it is a similar function we can also use the row number and rank functions over here the dense rank function it basically orders the records in the your data set or table in the manner that you specify and it would give it give every record a row number 
So whether you chose to sort it by some column and sending or descending order based on that logic, it would generate a row number. The dense rank function would generate the same row number for two records which have the same value for the column on which you are sorting. Basically, that's why we are going to use the dense rank function. So let's see how the dense rank function works. So select, let's select all the attributes from the employee table. If you start typing this function, you will get prompted to use this existing function, which is the dense rank function. And then as with other analytic functions, you have to use the syntax of over. Now we do not need to partition by anything and such. We are just worried about the sorting. So order by salary in a descending manner. And now if you execute this function, we'll get a rank generated for each of the columns. So you can observe here that the salary has been sorted in a descending manner and the ranks have been generated for each of the record. So the employee record with the highest salary has got the rank of 1 and then you have the rank of 2 for the second highest salary record and so on. So simply we can now just simply select the rank and we can select the entire record. So again, we're going to build a CTE or the common table expression, which would make it very easy to implement this requirement. So with salary underscore CTE as, and put this within brackets. So this is now your CTE table. And now we can simply put select star from salary underscore CTE where salary order equal to so you want the third highest salary so you can just put three and if you execute this you'll get the employee with the third highest salary and you can change this rank to get the employee with whatever number of salary you want so the second highest salary would we'll change this make it second highest salary fifth highest salary 